I met a gypsy. So when when you uh, you have this first experience and you ride around for the, in your two acres and you run that thing out of fuel, was that just it from there? It was over. Oh, dude, over every day. That's all I wanted to do was ride the dirt bike every day. It was from from getting home from school till till dark time, you know. And then I got 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 in the very first race on the JR fifty. And we went and raced. My very first race was an arena cross race in Salem, Oregon. And do we went there lined up and I'm looking over and everyone's on these these fifties that are about like ten inches taller than mine and they're all orange and you got cobras, yellow cobras and shit like that. And I'm on this little Suzuki JR fifty and I'm like kinda thinking like, What what are we doing here? Like not at the time not knowing anything about it, you know, and then like just taking off and I can remember everyone's in the first corner and I'm only halfway down the straightaway and I'm like, oh shit, like this is, <laughs> we're getting into it here. Like, and then I remember right after that, the very first race, that was, it was probably Saturday night and then that, mo- that next Monday, that bike was gone and then the Wednesday, we had a KTM 50. He was like, my dad was like, nah, you're not, you're not being the last one in the first corner your very first race. Not the second race. It ain't happening this time. And so we 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 learned our very first race that you got to have race bike to race. Mm. Yeah, I mean, that, there's definitely something to be said for being that guy though on the start line that's got like the slowest bike and uh, just fucking making making that shit work. Like my brother, the first bike we like the first race bike we had was a TTR one two five. We had to share and. Uh, <laughs> It was pretty fucking dope, actually, watching my brother, like, rail that shit around, you know? Like, you'd have kids on all, like, the, the 80s and shit, and you just got Maddie down the star trade. <laughs> on this detail. <laughs> he actually, like, I think he got... Beat them, their dads are over there pulling their hair out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, I think it actually, like, kind of helped his skill level, but yeah, you definitely can't be serious when you're fucking running that shit. No, no, but at the same time, what you run with your brung, and if that's all you got, you're fucking loving it, and, and you're racing, and you're you're pissing the other dads off. Like same thing <laughs> with the 125 when I'm racing out there on the against them on the 250. Like when I beat the beat those kids that are on 250s. Like I've seen it. I've seen kids' careers end in one year because they they got beat by a 125 and they're on a 250f. <laughs> the stank dog, the heartbreaker. <laughs> the career breaker of of the future and upcoming of our sport that is pretty funny like you're like the fucking gatekeeper it's like oh you think you can be pro all right take your race 250f and try beat stank dog and if you can't do it you can't be pro you can't sit here anymore <laughs> yeah it's like the sean hamlin and michael essie <laughs> when michael essie came in wanted to be the big dog sean hamlin's like no nah, no nah, i'll show you a thing or two <laughs> <laughs> well, that's fucking so good when you when you're a kid did you have like the i want to get better i want to get better i want to get better or was it just like you were the kind of guy that just liked to ride yeah it was mostly just just riding like every that's i just loved riding it wasn't like okay in in my mind it wasn't like okay we're going riding four times a week because he wants me to be professional and, and make a career out of it. It was, okay, my son likes doing this. It's keeping him out of trouble. And he, he's asking me to go. So let's, let's actually go and go and do it because he likes doing it. So like, it was never like, okay, I want, I want to go and I want to win this race. It was, oh, can, can we go and race? Because I have fun riding my dirt bike and hanging out at the track and hanging out with mm. my friends at the track. Like, you know, I didn't, I didn't really get along with most people at school, normal kids at school. Like I didn't want to go home and like invite the kids over from school over, you know, like I wanted to invite my moto kids over, my moto friends over, go to the track after school and, you know, go ride, go hang out. Like it wasn't to, it wasn't to better myself. It was just to, I just enjoyed it so much. Like I wasn't like, let's go faster. Let's go faster. Like we need to train. We need to go get coaching. You know, we, we need to go to one of these motocross training facilities. Like that was never, never crossed our mind at all. Like it wasn't, wasn't in the, in the cards like that. It was, 
in my dad's head, yes, it was like that's what he wanted was motocross racer. Like let's fucking go. Let's let's do everything we can. But it was for my sake. It was like just fun, just having mm. fun, hanging out with my friends, riding, and like that's kind of way the still way I take it now. Like I've never like wanted to like go do training schools or anything like that to better myself like yeah I do like learning and stuff like that and progressing but it was never like okay let's be hard on yourself and let's yeah let's yeah. learn this like let's force yourself to learn this like I never like you know never dedicated a full day of practicing starts or anything like that mm. or never like let's just do corners let's only practice on corners or, and shit like that you know it's like let's just go out let's just go ride go ride your motos go ride 20 minute motos and come off drink your water Gatorade and Let's go back out and ride. Yeah, man, that's so cool. And I mean, it'd be so easy to get caught in the trap of just like wanting to get better and better and better. But I mean, there's definitely like a point of diminishing returns. Like you would know pros that like don't even really like riding their dirt bike anymore. They're fast as fuck and they've probably got a fuck ton of money. But as a in terms of do they enjoy riding do they still love their bike if they didn't have a race to do next weekend would they go ride and the answer for a lot of people is 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 no um would you did you ever get kind of sucked into that mentality at all where you kind of thought that's what you needed to do or did you just always have that conviction of like i ain't gonna ruin my love for dirt bikes for a paycheck or for a factory ride or for anything like that yeah, it was just, I, I took it as always be myself, you know, like, yeah, I didn't, I didn't train as fully and as much as I should have. Like I just, because of, I just really enjoyed the racing and the riding as who I was. And I accepted it from my skill level. Like I didn't want to put that pressure and take that enjoyment out of riding the dirt bike, you know, like, like you're saying some of these guys now no names, but I'm sure some of them fucking wish they don't even own a dirt bike in their garage now you know like they have kids now that are growing up and i guarantee you they don't even they hope their kids don't even ride dirt bikes you know like that's how much they hate it because they trained their fucking ass off you know they they dedicated their entire life to being the best on dirt bike racing and it makes them despise of it you know it's like almost like you know your 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 father yells at you so much and kicks your ass so much you're gonna learn to hate him right you know yeah. motocross it you put so much of your heart and your effort into it. Yeah, it rewards you a lot. But at the same time, you're like, I've been doing this my whole fucking life. I hate it. I hate it now. Like, fuck dirt bikes. Fuck all this. Let's go be normal. You know, mm -hmm. it's like, do they really want to be like that? Absolutely not. You know, because it's like they love dirt bikes so much at one point. That at it one made point, them do yeah, that. It, yeah, you know? yeah. At one point, they love dirt bikes so fucking much that it drove them to do that. You know, yeah. so it's like, I never thought about making myself go that far of like, don't pound yourself into the ground and make yourself not liking something that you love so much. And was that a conscious decision that you made at some point? Like, did you re have this realization and go like, yeah, fuck that. I ain't doing that. Or is it just one of those things where like, you just couldn't do it any other way. Like you just were that committed to being oh, yourself. Dude. Yeah. Just you keep it real with yourself. You, you know, like, you go to races and you 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 lose to riders that you know you've lost to your whole entire self your, your whole entire career or anything like that or even losing to him at a young age you know like i learned to accept like yeah he's faster than me yeah he's a better rider than me i don't give a shit like i'm not gonna kick kick myself in the ass and you know and like oh i'm gonna go train harder to be better than him like no like i'm 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 a realist like kudos for you you know like I definitely wouldn't even talk shit about some of that you know like that's a little bit better than me you know like I, I if I got a little bit better start I could have fucking smoked you you know like something like that like nope like good for you you beat me that's awesome like you're just a little better man than I am today so like I think it was I, I learned on an 85 you know that's when kind of took racing seriously and I learned like don't don't beat yourself up over it you know like it's it's not the end of the world and you got to accept losing because we're all not going to win. We're all not going to win every race. And if you don't accept losing, it, it's kind of, it's kind of sad to say that, that you have to accept losing, you know, cause like, you know, no one wants to lose and no one wants to, to be around a loser, you know, but like you have to accept it, you know? And, it, and if I feel like if you accept it, it makes you a better person because 
you're going to go out there, you know, hey, this, this dude potentially can beat me. At the end mm-hmm. of the day, I'm not going to let it ruin my riding because I'm out here riding my dirt bike. Like, that's why we're here is because we're riding dirt bikes. He's just yeah. a little bit better than me. If you enjoyed this content, please like and subscribe. And to listen to the full three-hour podcast, search Gypsy Tales in your favorite podcast platform or click the link in the description below. Gypsy Gang.